All right, this video is uh, troubleshooting. Uh, things go wrong, your air cost is too high, your, um, your autopilot is not functioning, you need to troubleshoot. Uh, what do you do? Um, it's it's a, a lot of things that could go wrong. And uh, you have to remember that ads can only show the right product to the right user at the right time. Uh, it's up to you to make sure that your listings are optimized enough that people can buy it. Um, if they're not buying it, then uh, it's no longer the ads problem. It's uh, you're, you're either displaying it to the wrong client or you have the wrong keywords or there's something else wrong. So uh, let's dig deeper into it and find out what's going on. So this client is a, is, a, is a really good test client because everything is wrong with this client. And we're going to find out one by one all the campaigns, what's going on. To start off with, I think the best thing that you can do is you go to campaign audit, uh, you select the profile and you select a campaign. For example, the charcoal shea product is the one that is not performing well and you click on analyze. Uh, this will analyze your campaign, uh, analyze all the keywords, all the products, and it'll tell you exactly what's wrong. Uh, we're constantly adding new stuff to it. Uh, one more thing is the number of keywords that you won't see over here, but you'll uh, see it sometime in the future in a few weeks. Um, this should give you everything that is uh, about what is wrong with the campaign. Just a bird's eye view, you can right away see that the echoes is bad, the echoes is always a symptom, and the echoes is bad because the conversion ratio is really 1.667, which is at a minus 82 score. Um, it's okay to be at zero, but a uh, minus 82 is really, uh, really bad. So the conversion ratio for this uh, campaign is really bad. So let's dig deeper into it and find out why the conversion ratio is bad. Uh, in the future, you know, like we are uh, adding more features, which will also tell you why the conversion ratio is bad. But for now, you can, you know, manually dig deeper into it and find out. So we're going to the Amazon US. We're going and then picking up the the campaign that we have, which is this campaign. And uh, here you can see that the echoes is really bad. The click-through ratio is 2.2, which is exceptionally good. However, the conversion ratio is 1.79, which is exceptionally bad. So you, you, here you have double the problem. One is uh, if the click-through ratio was bad, then of course you could save some of the money, but you know, people are clicking on your product, which they like the, the image of it, they like the, uh, the price of it, they like the title of it, but they're not buying your product. Um, so this uh, campaign is a really good use case of, uh, you know, doing one thing right, but, uh, a broken other thing is uh, is making a mess out of all of uh, all of your work. It's exactly like a bike that has a one functional uh, tire, but the other tire is broken. So you're going to have twice the problem. If both of them are broken, you'd be stuck in one place. But since one of them is moving and one of them is broken, you have uh, double the problem. Uh, let's go deeper into this ad groups. And right away, we can see that there are 104 keywords. Um, for the budget that we have, the budget is um, around three dollars per day uh, you have 104 keywords of course this is a classic case of keyword starvation where uh, you have three dollars divided among 100 keywords which is uh, like really two or three cents per keyword um, so we know that what is wrong with this campaign is the budget is too low and there are too many keywords um, in this campaign so uh, the best way to get started would be to uh, look at the quality rank and switch off all the keywords that have worse quality rank uh, you can you can go to campaigns you can go click on the advanced options and you can click on remove bad keywords um, you can also go into um, into each of these um, keywords and then you can uh, pause all of the keywords so that's the very basics of fixing your autopilot